Hey everyone, in this super quick video, I wanted to go over the new on behalf of option when we deal with access packages with entitlement management. Now remember, access packages enable us to go and create a defined set of group memberships, Teams access, applications, SharePoint sites, uh, entry roles, that as part of the package, I can enable users to go and self sign up and I can specify which users could potentially do that. I can set things, for example, if I go and look at the policy, I can set who is allowed to go and request it. I can do auto assignments. I can set things like how many days or a number of hours this assignment will last for, which helps remove those pain points when I think about people just getting ever escalating sets of permissions because they change roles, they get certain group memberships, they get certain apps and it never gets taken away from them. So entitlement management and the access packages enable me to time limit that. And so typically the way this would then work is users can just go in and say, hey, I wanna go and request this. So, hey, I could go and look at an access package. I could go to my access and I can jump over to it and say, hey, I wanna request it, which is exactly what you could then go and do. Now the change here is what I can do as part of the policy for new or existing, if we scroll down, now remember we have things like approvers, but we'll come back to that. What we now have is the ability for managers to request an access package on behalf of a direct report. So consider the scenario where, hey, someone's new to the company and yes, they could go and on their first day go and request the access package, but there's a certain amount of learning to be able to go and do that. So what this saves you is the manager could just go and do it on their behalf. Now, this is something we're not dealing with lifecycle workflows. Maybe it's not something that applies to the whole company, but the manager for their department, hey, want to quickly go and onboard this new user so they can get up and running that quickly without having to go and maybe learn the idea around, hey, my access and access packages. So when I check this, what it lets me do is the manager. Now, they have to be the manager within Entra. So if I look at the user's object, this person has to be listed as the manager. But now if they go and request that package is what we saw right here, we well, have the option of someone else. And that someone else would be a direct report. So it will only show you the direct reports, but I could now go and select one of those who has me as the manager. I'm currently signed in as the manager person, Bruce Wayne. And so their direct reports will show and I can go and request it for them. And then it would just go and follow the regular flow. Now, as part of that regular flow, as you can see here, we have the concept of approvers. And I can have many different stages of approvers, one, two, three, et cetera. And as one of the options for the approvers is you can just select the manager as the approver. Now, if this has been configured, now it has to be this is configured, it can't just be, well, the manager happens to be one of the specific users listed as an approver. It actually has to be set as manager as approval. Well, if the manager is the approver, then we also get this option that if the manager is requesting it on behalf of the employee, then if it's the manager set as the approver, just skip that approval step. It just automatically will happen and it will flow through the rest of whatever the process defined here is. So that's just a really nice step. But again, this only works if the approver is actually set as manager as approver, not just if the manager happens to be one of the selected approvers. And that is it. That is the new on behalf of capability that is available as part of the access packages. I hope that was useful. Till next video, take care.